Jason. And Vic Morrow. And introducing Serge Priyur. Hey, come on, little John. Stick your snoot out there and hold it, will you? That's better. Hey, Doc. Where'd you learn to read French? I can't. I'm just looking for pictures. Strength the Germans have brought in. We don't know exactly what. Bonjour, Monsieur Gittner, sir. Je m'appelle Gilbert Barol. Et je désire m'enrouler dans l'armée américaine. I'm sorry, son. I don't speak French. No parlez-vous. Je m'appelle Gilbert Barol. Et je désire m'enrouler dans l'armée américaine. Cage, what did he say? He says his name is Gilbert Barol. So? So he wants to join the American army. Let's see what Sergeant York looks like. Somehow he just don't look life size. Je sais que je peux être utile à votre armée, monsieur. D'abord, je connais très bien la région. Ensuite, je vous connais de ce que c'est que l'armée. He said that he is sure that he would be of great service to the American Army, sir, since he has a thorough knowledge of the area, and also that he knows a lot about soldiering. He says he eats very little, and he requires very little sleep each night. <laughs> Grandpa, look at it, he's a bargain. <laughs> hey, I could walk around on my knees and still be the tallest guy in his outfit. And the dumbest. All right, knock it off. Is he serious? This isn't a joke. He's dead serious, sir. This boy wants to join the American Army with all his might. How old is he? Quel âge as-tu, Gilbert? Treize ans et demi, monsieur. He's thirteen and a half, sir. Well, tell... what's his name? Gilbert. Well, thanks, Gilbert, but tell him he's too young. No, uh... Tell him that, uh, young men like himself, uh, young soldiers who are able to carry arms, are needed here in the village to protect the women and children, his mother and sisters and brothers. Gilbert, le lieutenant veut que tu saches que des hommes comme toi sont absolument nécessaires dans le village. Des hommes qui... qui savent manipuler des... des armes afin que tu puisses protéger ta famille, ton père, ta mère, tes frères et tes sœurs. Ils sont tous morts, monsieur. He says that they're all dead, sir. Oh. Uh. Well, Cage, uh, tell him uh, in very polite language uh, that the lieutenant extends his sympathies for his family loss, but that... Uh, Army regulations forbid the induction of men in the field, regardless of age. Gilbert, le lieutenant veut que tu saches. Il sympathise énormément avec toi pour ce qui t'arrive dans ta famille. Mais c'est exactement contre, contre les lois de l'armée d'accepter des volontaires, surtout sur le champ d'action, quel que soit leur âge. Mais... Come on, we're moving out of here in 15 minutes.
What have you got? Cheese. I got devil ham. Or you want swap? Yeah. to something. Yeah, German outposts. They'd be a lot closer than those guns. It's good we got those tanks in front of us. We had those tanks in front of us. They turn off here and head south. Well, that's nice. What do we do from here on in? Keep moving forward. Look for them. Outposts? Outposts. We got the left flank. Try and keep the good man out there, will you? Check. Promoted. Left flank, and we move out of here. You're in, man. Who funk, Fav?
Shut up and keep your head down. What's he doing here? I don't know, maybe he thinks it's a recruiting station or something. You think that's it? You think they'll stop? They're not gonna stop till we're all dead. Does that kid know he came within an inch of being blown off the face of the earth? A little friend doesn't give up, does he? You tell him I almost got one of my men killed. Gilbert, they're responsible. Never mind, never mind. Just tell him to go on home. Faut que tu rentres à la maison, Gilbert. Tout de suite. On n'a pas besoin de toi. Ah, monsieur, il faut venir se combattre de vos côtés. Je suis un bon soldat. Je suis fort. Brave. What you saying, Cage? He says he's very strong and he's a very good soldier and he wants to fight with us. Home. He goes home. Gilbert, t'as compris. Rentre à la maison. <coughs> Those lousy, no good crowds. Where you hit, Lieutenant? Left arm or side. Uh, ah, Cage, put that kid on the cover. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Uh. Bones that broken. What about the artery? He's bleeding a lot, Doc. No, I don't think so. My head hit something. It took quite a fall. You'd never had made for Chicago climate, then. You keep quiet. He was mad at you before. Pardon? Never mind. Nothing for us. Nothing for us. How do you feel, Lieutenant? Lousy. We'll rig up a stretcher. There's nothing wrong with my feet. Doc, can he walk? Well, we're strapped pass right through his arm. The bleeding stopped, but he's liable to be pretty weak. What do you think, Lieutenant? Let's give it a try. All right, easy now. I don't care about it, Joe. So I didn't think that you taken Are you still here? Cage, what's he saying now? Well, he wants to help you walk, Lieutenant. He said he had an uncle back home, had a bad foot, and he used to use Gilbert instead of a cane. He'll help you. He will go back to his village with you. No, I don't. Or maybe you're right. I'll send Doc with you. I don't need him as bad as you might. I'll be all right. As soon as battalion moves in, they'll set up an aid station. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. You just keep moving forward until you make contact. When you do, radio company. And wait until you're joined by the advance guard. Understand? Yes, sir. You sure you're all right, Lieutenant? I'm oh, fine, fine. Now, move out of here before they start shelling this area again. Yes, sir. All right, let's move out. Kirby! You! Take the point! Hey, you. Hey, kid, come on back here. Cage! Yo! Bring that kid back here. There he is, Lieutenant. You have need me now. I'm going to replace the lieutenant. He will replace nobody. You tell him he's going back to the village with me. And I don't want any lip from him. He wants just to be promised his adjutant. And the new orders now are to enter the quartier general with the lieutenant. Yes, monsieur. All right, get going. I'll see you in a day or two. Right, sir. How come the kid is so eager to go back? Well, I just told him that the lieutenant made him adjutant. And that his new orders were to accompany him back to the village. You know, you get brighter every day. Yeah. I think better in French, Sergeant.
Qu'est-ce qu'il y a C'est votre blessure, hein Gilbert, you go aller to the village. Get a doctor. I will stay here. Non, moi je reste ici. Vous dormez, vous reposez. Gilbert, go to the village. Kannst du beide nicht einen kleinen Jungen halten? Ha? Hallo, ich bin zu, ja? Pass mal auf. Wir werden dir jetzt einen Kopf abhauen. So! <lacht> What's your name? My name is Kurt Hammerman. Can you hear me? Gilbert Barol. Ah, Gilbert Barol. 
Comment allez-vous, Gilbert Yeah. Ich habe ein Kind da in Alter. Guck mal. Eh? 13. Uh, 13. Uh, uh, Tres sens. Eh? Um, uh, wie alt? Um, uh, how old? Um, Kelle Arsch 2. Tres ans et demi. Tres ans. Du bist groß, Butternage. Ich bin ein Soldat. Votre fils, ist das ein Soldat, lui? Oui, er ist mit seiner Mutter in der Maison. Er ist tot. Er ist tot. Er ist mehr. Ja. Ja. Auf, Leute! Es geht weiter! Also, was wird nun mit dem Kind? Da und? Was geht da uns an? Hat ab! Auf Wiedersehen, Gilbert! Gilbert! Schokolade. Kinder sollen Schokolade haben. Ein Stück für jede Woche. C'était mon père. C'est très fort. Il est 
father must have had a strong stomach. Schmidt, Schultz, Klaus Lister, mir nach. Slow down. Now, what about the Bosch? The Bosch? The Salmers are partout in the village. You're on purpose. They're getting ready to really clower the advance guard. What? I've got a radio company. Gilbert. Now, listen carefully. You must find my men. My, my sergeant. Tell him to use ra radio. Radio. Tell him about Germans. Alam. Bosch. Bosch. Tell him about the Bosch. You understand? Uh, Comprenne? Oui. La trouver le soldat américain. J'ai compris. OK. Yeah. Now, go and find them. Go. Hey, the boy, faut que je vous cache.
Ask him what happened to Hanley. I thought What did he say? I don't know, Sergeant. He speaks too fast. I can't make him out. He's talking about the lieutenant being under the bed with machine guns and we should listen to the radio. Ask him again, but tell him to take his time. Little John, put them against that wall. Take their weapons. Come on, 
Give bear, go inside. Don't tell me any lies. C'est vrai, j'ai tué un Bosch. T'as compris, rentre à la maison tout de suite et pas de mensonges. C'est vrai, Allez. I'll be all right. You ready? Already. Now, where's Gilbert? I want to thank him. I already did, sir. He's going to make a fine soldier someday. I already told him that, too, but I don't think he wants to be a soldier anymore. Oh? You get a little scared? I guess so. <laughs> but he wouldn't tell me what it was. He'll get over it when he grows up, whatever it is. Yeah. Don't we all? All right, let's move out. Yes, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 